We're back now to give you the legal edge, and Brian Waldman from the Sinus Dramus Law Firm is with us tonight. Now, Brian, as we know, over the last two weeks, many retailers like Walmart, Meyer, Aldi, Target, and even Kroger have made statements asking customers not to open carry firearms in their stores. So what exactly are these companies doing by asking their customers to leave their weapons outside? Well, I mean, what they're saying is we don't want people to show their weapons if they have them while they're in our store. And it does seem like a little bit of a PR move because these companies have an absolute right to ban open carry or ban weapons altogether in their store if they want. And I think what they're probably doing by requesting that people not bring weapons in is kind of try and find some middle ground for a very polarized issue. Because some people could say, if you tell me not to bring my weapons in, that violates my Second Amendment right, correct? People will say that, and they have in response to Meyer's Twitter statement about their new policy. There were a lot of reactions about that. And the Second Amendment really only prevents the government from creating laws that infringe on a person's right to carry arms. A private property owner has an absolute right to do what they want on their property and make their own rules, including banning weapons outright. In fact, some retailers do, including Whole Foods, Costco, and a number of movie theaters. So if I'm someone who opens open carries, how do I know when it's against the rules or where it's okay to go? It, it's very difficult, whether it's open carry or concealed carry or just an ordinary uh, pistol owner or, or gun owner. Uh, the rules are different from business to business, and then the rules, that the, the, the laws that we have in the state are very different for concealed carry and, and ordinary gun owners. As a general rule, you can't take a gun into a court, a post office, a sports arena, um, daycare center, hospitals. And what would happen if somebody violates the laws when it comes to carrying or possessing a weapon? Again, it depends if a person has a, a concealed carry permit or not. If they don't have the concealed uh, pistol license, it's a misdemeanor. If they do have the license, uh, then the first offense is a suspension of the license and a civil infraction. The second offense is a revocation of the license and a misdemeanor. And then the third offense, it's actually a felony. And as we talked about before, I actually wasn't fully aware that you could just open carry here in Michigan because you really don't see it that often. True, but it, but it is allowed in Michigan is one of the states that allows for it. And that's, I think, why these states are just trying to kind of find a middle ground and try and make things safe for their customers. And obviously, they, they're saying that even though they, they don't want customers to do this, they're making an exception for police officers and security guards. All right. This is all good stuff. Thanks, Brian. Thanks for giving us the legal edge. Thank you.